Big Daddies are back! It's kind of weird. Don't think that it necessarily worked, but we're gonna roll with it. Guys, Slipknot dropped a new song called Yen. Super pumped for this, man. They have been in tease mode recently. I feel like they're tickling. They're tickling our gooches, and we just want the full... Okay, I was gonna say album, and it sounds like I'm talking about dicks now. Okay, start over. Slipknot dropped Yen. We like the dying song that they just dropped because that was a fucking slapper. And and to be quite honest, I don't think that any of us are gonna be really ready for this album. I really don't. I think there's gonna be some weird shit on there. Frankly, just too fucking excited to do the rest of the intro, so let's get it, man. Slipknot Yen, let's go. Is that sound? It sounds like a cat. A cat doing that like fucking claw thing. Now that's the only thing you're gonna be able to see in your head whenever you hear that. <laughs> Are they playing a damn xylophone? The smell of sweat and blood. I would feed you all my pleasures just to drown in all of yours. Have you heard of me? Wow, what the hell? What is this? Let me say the word I'm waiting for. Mm. <laughs> a chance to make me choke. You're all I can think about. Okay. Taste is red and rust. Can I hold you in my mouth until I fade into this form? Can you cover me? Will you breathe? As a nine gallon sand, can I cross my skin and put my damn fingers? I wanna know that I was Holy shit, okay. Wow. Dude, this is fucking, this is exactly what I was talking about when I said we're not gonna know what to expect, right? Like, I felt like they were gonna do some weird shit like this, so I'm getting like, I've only heard two songs from the band I'm about to mention. Sounds like Typo Negative, right? Like, I remember listening to a song about a vampire, maybe that's the whole shtick of Typo Negative, I'm not positive, um, but it gives me that, and then it just comes in with punches of that old school Slipknot, dude. Uh, not even old school, I don't even feel comfortable with that, just a little dose of Slipknot, like it's, Fuck, man. Wow. I'm, dude, wow. When it's not a fact, this game is fine by me. All the words for retribution only add up to revenge. Overpower me. That's <laughs> 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 so dark. That's a knife, yo, damn, cut it Everybody's 
coming with it. Every single person is fucking top notch right now. Holy shit! Ahoy! Ahoy this ass! Fucking no! Pirate punch. Pirate punch these nuts. I'm saying weird things right now. Super unexpected, man. We need to read these lyrics. You're the sin that I've been waiting for. The hands around my throat. It's all I can think about. The smell of sweat and blood. The sin that he's talking about is like, it's consuming him. The sin's hands are around his throat. The chorus though, man. Like, as the knife goes in, cut across my skin. When my death begins, I want to know that I was dying for you. Fuck, with all these new albums, man, there's this huge motif of death and metamorphosis. So it might be something on that front. It just has this vampire-like you know, fascination of sex intermingling with death. Hell yeah! And it's so weird. I know that those concepts are oftentimes linked, but musically, dude, like, you ever had one of those chip, those, uh, <laughs> molten lava cakes from Chili's, you know, with the warm chocolate cake around it, and it's being heated up by that molten deliciousness of lava inside with ice cream on top and shit's melting. That's this song. It's got different aspects to it. It's got the cold, it's got the heat, it's got the fluffy, it's got the fucking punch me in the damn face type of energy too. It's got everything encompassing. You know, honestly, what's fucking sick about it is that Slipknot, they've been doing this for decades, right? And you can tell that they are still evolving. That's what it takes, man. That's what it takes to stay relevant is evolution. Fucking Slipknot doing vampire core now. I mean, it's awesome. Honestly, it just gets me fucking pumped up for the new album coming out. I cannot wait. When is it dropping? I should know this. September 30th? Ah, oh, Jesus, that's a long time away. All right, well guys, it's up to you now. So drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this new Slipknot song. Let me know what you expect from the new album and let me know if you are digging this new vibe that they're bringing right now. And with that being said, keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking facto, yeah. The damn hair in my mouth. Yeah. Peace. Deceit